For the last test, we looked at the 253 grain Keith semi wad cutter with the large round hollow point. It was loaded with 10 grains of unique and gave an average velocity of 1130 feet per second. Today's test will be the same 8.7 BHN bullet, but I've increased the powder charge to 11.5 grains of unique. Once again, these will be shot from the Smith & Wesson 29 with a 6.5 inch barrel. The average velocity was 1,224 feet per second. Four of the five bullets fragmented and the penetration of the furthest and largest pieces, the bullet bases, was 26.65 inches. The one bullet that stayed together was shot three and it penetrated 17 and 1 8 inches. I've recorded the penetration of the remaining fragments in the notes. The average weight of the largest pieces was 165.2 grains. The weight of the bullet bases of the four bullets that fragmented was very consistent. Shot 3 was the only bullet where I measured expansion, which came in at .836 inches. The previous test, with 10 grains of unique, averaged 93 feet per second slower, and all of those bullets mushroomed nicely and stayed together. The bullets from today's test, while only slightly faster, obviously crossed the velocity threshold where they begin to fragment and break. That threshold, for this bullet design, and this alloy is somewhere between 1130 and 1200 feet per second. Even the one bullet that stayed together, shot three, was just on the verge of shedding its nose as well. For the next test, I'll shoot the same bullet again, but instead of adding a grain and a half, I'll subtract a grain and a half of powder. I'll shoot this bullet with eight and a half grains of unique and see if we get any expansion at around 1000 feet per second. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and God bless.